Wait, what? I did something. Stepping on that log did something. What even? I suspect this involves a Korok or something. Or oh, there's like a ring to get through within a time limit, is that it? Oh, I'm not gonna make it now. Well, Koroks are worth it, so I will try again. Now that I know what I'm doing. Sort of. I sort of know what I'm doing. Okay, that was easy enough. I didn't even need to surf. I've never shield surfed before, actually. And if I don't need to, that's okay. I'm not in a hurry to do it, because I think it will wear out my shield. Which is going to break soon anyway, because it's badly damaged. But... Whatever. Back to searching for that shrine. I wonder if the shrine's going to be hard. Is it cold on Death Mountain? How cold is it now? 74 Fahrenheit? That's not cold. I'm surprised the game uses Fahrenheit. You'd expect it to use Celsius. I still have no idea where this freaking shrine is. Everything is an adventure, yeah. Especially this game. This is like the most epic adventure ever. And it's so free-spirited and does whatever it wants. It's not like the other Zeldas where you're like, No, you have to go to the forest temple first to get the bow. You're gonna need it in the fire temple or something. The shrine is this way. Probably somewhere up there. Ostriches. I should have killed one of them. And which way is the shrine again? Did I pass it? I think I passed it. Because now I'm facing this way and I'm getting a strong signal. Ah, oh, it's down there! Wow, okay. Maybe it's not the one I spotted before, I have no idea. But it's still a shrine. Booyah. Yeah, this is not the shrine I was looking at. I didn't need to find out what happens when you go into Death Mountain. You probably encounter extreme heat and you probably do not do well. Passing the flame, okay. Do they they probably want us to get fancy and shoot a normal arrow through the torches, huh? Because then we could save our fire arrows. Let's try this with normal arrows. Because that kind of makes it more fun. Assuming it's possible. Does something happen once I burn all these? Maybe I will just use fire arrows. First, I want to see what this does. I don't have to burn them all, do I? Just this one. Wait, is this door locked? Do you literally have to, like, get a key or something, like in other Zeldas? Ooh, a precious sapphire. That's worth a lot of rupees. And five rupees, apparently, for the first time ever. Neat. Oh, you know how many rupees I found after spending eight hours on the Great Plateau my first time in the game? I found one rupee underneath a rock somewhere. It was pretty crazy. A green rupee. Just one green rupee. I was like, yay, I found my first rupee. I've been playing for hours and I found one of these is what I found, yeah. I didn't find it this time, so this is my first time picking up a green rupee too. And when I found that rupee, I freaked out. I was like, oh, this game has rupees. How about that? So what are we doing here? Anything cool happen when I, that was a waste, I guess. That didn't help. Nope, okay. Well, there's the end of the trial. We just climb up here and we're done. Oh, we can't climb? Okay, well, okay, that's the way I came. Oh! We're gonna be fancy here just because we can. My bow is badly damaged? Okay, that's not good, well. Ah, you can do that. Okay, now I now I see how you could have made some of the other shots without fire arrows. You can light the arrow and then step away. Wait, did that do anything? Oh, there's something over there and I want it. It's really shiny. It's behind this door. Okay, so that's a thing. Can I light the crates on fire? I broke my bow. Shoot. Oh, that worked though. The crates are burning. Still doesn't tell me how to get the shiny thing. Cause I mean, I know I can complete the shrine right now, but I want things. Want to get things. Can I climb this? I can't climb anything in here. It's probably in that chest.
Oh, what? The chest burned up. All right, so here's an idea. Ah, here we go. Haha. <laughs> you got a small key! I didn't know this game was ever going to introduce keys at any point. That's amazing. There we go. This was very interesting. I got a ruby! Sweet, that was totally worth it! I can get a lot of rupees from that. What a cool shrine. This is the best one so far. So I guess that's it. I got all the valuables that were in here. Unless there's something else over there. I have to find out before I leave. Cool. See? There's another thing. What's in here? Cobble Crusher? A Goron made two handed weapon? Your inventory is full. Well, time to say goodbye to something. Goodbye, Farming Ho. I want the Goron Sword thing. Thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge, so it relies on its sheer weight to crush all opponents. Okay, I have to at least take a look at this. Whoa, this thing is huge. Yeah, it doesn't cut, it just hits things. That's what it does. You got the thing. My shield is damaged. If there's a better shield nearby or soon, I should break this one or throw it away or whatever and get a new shield. There is that tower, which I probably should not go to, he said as he started running towards it. I'm not here. You never saw me. You're sounding the alert, but I'm gone. Are they all questioning why the alert is going off because they can't see me? Or are they actually looking up here and seeing me somehow? Well, have fun not knowing where I am. Are they all looking at me? Is he seriously trying to throw rocks at me from all the way over there? That's cute. Why does that guy keep blowing his horn? I'm long gone. I'm up here. They can't see me up here. They'll forget about me eventually. They don't have time to keep blowing the horn. They can still see me? Are you serious? How can they see me? I can't even see me. Not from down there anyway. Look, see, there's no line of sight from me to them. I'm hidden up here. I mean, I know they spotted me once, but... All right, you guys deserve a reward for spotting me all the way up here. And your reward is a thing. Have at it. That's nowhere near them. They won't even notice that. All right, well, I'm done. Oh, you know what? Climb, climb, climb. It's probably not that valuable, but there's a thing up there. Swift Violet. Well, whatever, I'm leaving. There should be another way to that tower anyway. Wait, is this lava? It looks almost like lava. Okay, it's not lava. It's fine, it's just a red rock. This is a good vantage point. There is something kind of interesting over there. There's also some really shiny rocks there. I don't know if those mean anything. They really stand out though. There must be a reason for that. Ooh, birds. How are we on arrow? I have five arrows. The birds are running. This ain't worth wasting arrows on them. In fact, I'm just going to go over here and crack open these rocks. Get some more valuables. Always need rupees. Two at a time every single time. Okay, where was that tower at? It must be up above there then. I lost sight of it, which is kind of annoying. Why did these guys appear out of nowhere? Oh, because that's what they do. They come out at night, don't they? I should not be using this weapon. We should be using a normal weapon. Do you not see me, dude? Oh, you're getting your weapon, okay. Dragonbone Moblin Club. But my inventory is full. This sucks, and I have all those Korok seeds that I can't turn in yet for more inventory slots. Wait, this is level 45 attack? There's that shrine. Just past these clueless enemies. Yeah, thanks for telling me there's a shrine nearby. I could see it before you told me. So your usefulness does come into question. Iron shrooms, very good for defense. So they're just dancing and doing their own thing. They haven't seen me, have they? Is that a random guy riding a horse? That's not a monster on a horse, is it? It's just a random guy. Oh. It looks like she requires assistance. Alright, you're done. Lady? Holy crap, it's a Gerudo. They have to come at me harder than that to impress me. 
It'd be rude of me not to thank you for your help, so thanks. Whoa! She just gave me a meal! Defense boost! Oh, that's helpful. I, I'm gonna need that at some point. Are you okay? You are not okay. Take your life in your own hands. Sunshine's floofing around. Stop faffing around. All right, let me just get rid of this guy for you. No big deal. Whoa, he's hurting me bad. This is gonna end badly. And we're done here. Yeah, I got more guts for sort of- ooh, more, even more Bokoblin guts. Wow, two in a row. Let's go on a hunt for trouble, she says. It'll be fun, she says. Well, I guess I'll go to that shrine. Man, I could use like a billion arrows right about now. Good evening. If you're stopping by Foothill Stable, you're probably headed to Goron City. Eh, not really at the moment. Better take care, it's really hot there. I probably need hot resistance or something. It'll burn the flesh from your bones. It'll burn those too. Yeah. Fireproof elixir. I'd much rather find fireproof clothing or something so it's permanent rather than temporary like an elixir, but... You're a bird. Everyone loves my Sheikah slate. Are you a bird? <laughs> you never met a Rito before? No, I haven't. What's a Rito? The bard. I spent my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs? No. I happen to know a song. Let's hear it. Oh, this should be good. Oh, he's not actually gonna sing. I'm disappointed. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight. They appear in each age to fight the good fight. But a bum bum bum. Their battle with Gan and I've committed to song to keep it through time, no matter how long. I'm singing it to the Skyrim tune now. <laughs> now begins the second verse. Listen and you'll know their battle with Ganon two thousand years ago. Okay. I guess not all the verses fit within that. <laughs> The Kingdom of Hyrule is once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strength and wit that suffer did cease. How long actually is this song? But Gen looked beneath the surface, strengthening his jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule set out to help the cause. I don't actually know how to sing this. Oh well. Their efforts bore fruit in automated force to help avert the calamity by sealing at its source. I almost want to skip this, but maybe I won't. Four giant behemoths for which power never ceased. Each of these titans was called a divine beast. And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey. These guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. Oh yeah. To guide the beast in battle, warriors were needed. So four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine Beasts, Guardians, Princess, and Knight. Their plan to rout Ganon was looking airtight. And when Calamity Ganon reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The optimism of Hyrule all the more incensed it. But a bump boom. Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate. It gnashed its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept the heroes safe through every hour. The Divine Beast unleashed attack that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon so. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. How was it 10,000 years back? I thought it was 100. Unless I'm just getting confused. 
Not even sure. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. I'm a little disappointed that you didn't sing and dance in real time, but okay. Oi, oi. Haven't seen your face before. I don't. You can board your horse companions with us. Oh, yeah. You may come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register, it'll become your horse companion. Oh, I've never done this. I don't even know. <clears throat> one person can board up to five horses. Hmm. Approach from behind slowly so it doesn't notice you, then hop on. But these are wild animals we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. It will eventually settle down, and when that happens, bring it to me. It may take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you'll want to gently redirect it and then calm it. And if you continue interacting that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient. That's all I can tell you about the subject, stranger. Okay, so this is definitely a stable, so I should be able to buy arrows somewhere. Wait, he's playing Epona's song on the accordion, I just now realized. He's so good at that. Beetle's asleep here. Wow! You came to see me again? That makes Beetle so happy! But don't get the wrong idea now, Beetle's heart belongs to Hyrule. I'm selling, man. Might as well sell this and get 210 rupees. Like, one thing that always annoyed me in Skyrim was how the merchants would run out of money when you were trying to sell things. I'm glad they didn't do that with this game, as far as I can tell. Two rupees for a fairy? You monster, it's worth more than that. I wouldn't sell it anyway. Holy cow, I can sell a lot of these. 420 more rupees. What have you got? Arrows! Thank you very much, hope to see you again soon. I have 35 arrows, that's not too bad, I could still use more. Never noticed that shrine before. I looked at this painting so much and I never noticed it. Must be because that's an odd place for a shrine to be located. Who would go to a shrine there anyway? I would. Wait, what? You went there? I guess for some people there's nothing to stop them from traveling the world. Oh, I guess it's a shrine I've already been to, so I instantly complete that quest or whatever. That's kind of strange. Yes, I will. What's the soft bed? You'll wake up more energized. Oh, okay, I know what that means. Oh, it's currently morning now. That's eight hours of sleep. I needed a health refill anyway. And with this, I'll have temporary health. I guess it's only one heart's worth, but still. Not bad. Holy cow, what is this? Double axe? So that's attack level 12. This double axe is attack level 18, so that's a worthy trade. You guys can keep the iron sledgehammer, I guess. I can't carry it even if I want to. I'm guessing it'll disappear by the time I come back here again. Time for Link to destroy everything just like in the old days. I can jump while carrying this, that's how strong I am. Break it. You know you wanna break it. Man, those barrels are tough. Right, the shrine. Almost forgot. I was just enjoying this place so much. I forgot about the shrine I was heading to. There's the tower I was looking at. I'm probably not going there after all. Metal makes a path. Oh no, there's lava here. Am I equipped to handle this? So we're gonna need to stop time probably. <gasps> thing! Not sure how useful Thing is, but we'll find out. Yep. I don't think I threw it high enough. Okay, that was dumb. Guess I'll stop screwing around. Oh, I just had an idea. Am I supposed to knock the ball upward into that thing, maybe? Oh, shoot. It's going too fast. Well, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Wait, is this one magnetic? I must find out. Whoa, it is magnetic, but you have to grab it with good timing or something. Interesting. Well, at the very least, I can set it down and it'll be out of my way. 
Do I need it though? I'm not even sure. Now, 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 don't you go anywhere. You stay right there while I see what this is. I'll just leave it in the chest. Surely there's something more to do with this. Now, if I could see where I'm going, that would be really cool. We don't need that. Well, that didn't work at all. I can't seem to stop their wild rolling. Can I just shove all the other rocks back up using this one? Yeah, now what are you gonna do? That's all you had to do. That's really cool. Whoosh! You got a thing. That's three. One more and I can get yet another heart container. I'm gonna make Link so overpowered. If I can.